How's everybody doing today? I guess not too good. <laughs> All right, I'm just waiting for a couple of more people to take their seats. Okay, thank you guys so much for coming to our Hardware Massive. This is the second in our series. Um, I'm just going to make the intro really, really short today. Um, thank you for coming to Hardware Massive at Future Word Central. So really short intro about Hardware Massive. We are a global platform that connects um, people in the hardware ecosystem, not only globally, but locally as well. So we are the Taipei chapter. That's what we are here. So um, every month we... Um, get a special speaker to come and share his experiences on hardware. So before we start the main event, um, I would like to invite our uh, co-host, Ellen from Triple, for some short words. Okay, um, let's do it like a more relaxed way, because uh, this is going to be um, the least hard part from <laughs> today. So uh, can I, my name is Alan, I'm working on Triple for International Partnership. Can I know who is kind of like stop or have uh, intention to do kind of like innovation for Howard? Okay, so we also have... Um, Triple uh, members who are Taiwan uh, suppliers who can support um, Huawei Stop. So if you see the uh, Nantech uh, in front of them, then they are our members. Uh, welcome to network uh, with them and talk to them. Or if you don't, you are looking for specific uh, supplier, can come to our PN Triple uh, PN Marco. There we have um, Jerry. Yeah, here, the one with this uh, badge. Uh, you can come to us and uh, uh, we can refer you to the specific uh, supplier to talk to your, uh, no, um, your project. So let me quickly have five minutes to, to explain uh, what do we do. Uh, in abbreviation, we are Taiwan, uh, triple called Taiwan Rapid Innovation Prototype League for Entrepreneurs. It's quite a long name. So, but if you see this logo, it's us. And um, what we do, we actually help Howard Stop to connect with, uh, not only connect Howard, their Howard partner, but also the resources in Taiwan. So we are actually the matchmaking platform. And the, um, the, this is actually government initiative uh, from Ministry of Economic Affairs. And we are ITRI under Industrial Technology Research Institute to execute this uh, project. So this project has been two years. Um, almost two years for next month. Okay, so the, to start with the quote um, from Man, um, Manu Kumar from K9 Venture saying, uh, you can't spell Howard without the hard part. So I'm going to start with this uh, quote. And uh, there's a statistic showing the crowdfunding failure rate. 75% of the project will be delivered late. And the larger the project, the longer it will be delayed. So it shows it's not easy. And there's a few possible reasons, like uh, actually the staff, we uh, start with a small team. So they actually, uh, from the first place, they find the wrong manufacturers. So in different, they are not a good match. They are small scale, but uh, you're looking for like a, a large OEM, ODN. So it's easy to get your project you know, not to be supported. And or the, uh, because the uh, manufacturing process is unfamiliar with us uh, from the staff, so they don't know those hidden costs behind it. Or even when they do the prototype, because prototype is not equal to manufacture. So the prototype probably will not be um, unproducible. And it's all about the scale differences. Um, start, usually start with the small teams or they have few people probably only focus on the software. So they don't have the skill to do full uh, stack of engineer to support their hardware projects. That's why 
you need the uh, to find the good supplier who are actually your partner and is they are not your service provider because uh, uh, treat it as a partner they are the one who control your uh, cost quality and the schedule so um, having the hope that your you know, innovation or your product will be the next big things. And um, so what we suggest is to uh, involve those uh, uh, hardware partners in, in early stage so you get better feasibility on your projects. You got, uh, you know, uh, next uh, big quality, uh, quality uh, product uh, to be delivered in the market. And um, try to build a long-term ship with your suppliers because they are your first customer. And in triple, we connect the uh, hardware staff to find different suppliers in uh, different uh, outsourcing partners. Depends on uh, what uh, stage you are in. So you, if you purely um, uh, have your own in-house design, you're looking for OEM, ODM, we can find the uh, suppliers to fit your needs. And or you need some support to design your product. Or even you have only idea and you're looking for suppliers to do a consultant or do the rest of the uh, management or project for you. Um, we can dig out what kind of a requirement or what kind of status you are and to help you to try and to find the, the, uh, um, the one that fits your needs. And also um, on the triple, we, if your technology is, uh, you know, uh, require kind of like value added, so we can link you with those non-profit organization. Probably there's a specific technology that can, you know, add the uh, value on your product, and uh, link with the university resources if there's something relevant. So what we are trying to build is the um, the win-win ecosystem. Um, staff have a lot of um, trends and direction and demands, and uh, we leverage our um, um, the Taiwan uh, advantage, who has been doing OEM ODM for past 30 years. We help them to come uh, staff to commercialize the, their uh, product, so become kind of like an ecosystem to um, for this uh, staff innovation. So why Taiwan? There's uh, three key messages I want to deliver. Uh, Triple is a matchmaking platform, and we have a strong uh, industry cluster and a uh, startup ecosystem, and we have been uh, the key leader in electronic supply chain. And also Taiwan now has uh, the big national project called Asia Silicon uh, Valley Development Plan, and which uh, support a lot of like, uh, try to build the uh, e uh, like an eco uh, system for stop and friendly and have the IoT drive or you know, uh, trends to be implemented in Taiwan. And I also want to share with you some of the um, resources for STOP. Uh, there's uh, two major projects uh, under Ministry of Science and Technology, which is executed by E3, uh, which is uh, us. And uh, there's uh, outbound resources. Uh, you probably see uh, TIEC represent Taiwan Innovation Entrepreneurship Centers. This uh, project is basically subsidized Taiwan stop to Silicon Valley. So go to check uh, TIECTW.com. Or there's uh, some brochures um, on the uh, reception area that you can check out. Or come to us if you need some more detail. And we have another uh, project coming very soon. Probably will be officially announced uh, next in, a, in our next event in April, and which is the inbound resources for um, staff, which um, support the overseas staff to soft landing in Taiwan. Yeah, for one month. So you got uh, the tickets, accommodations, and the co-working space, and all those you know coaching resources with with together with Taiwan accelerators. So that's something um, I actually pre-announced here, and it will be uh, official um, next month, beginning of next month. So why triple? Um, each project, if you come to our platform, we will assign a specific PN, dedicated PN to you. And the, our main job is to help you to find the right suppliers for your projects. And because uh, all our PN has very experience, experience uh, in the industry. And uh, if your project um, 
uh, need specific supplier, we will explore those because they got network and uh, you know uh, the, those relationship. And beside that, we will add value to link you with those uh, nonprofit R&D centers. And um, there's some chance for marketing exposures that we will invite you if that's relevant. And also resource sharing, like um, a lot of like a cheap or key component, probably not easy for staff to to um, to get. And we can leverage our members to get that support for you. And sometimes like. A two different staff, probably they do similar things and there's chance to cooperate to each other. So there's something that we can uh, support on the triple pool, uh, this platform. And there's some uh, chance of sales channel and bundle chance. We will try to you know, link up with uh, different parties. Um, like some member has to transfer to from OEN to you know, some channels in different regions. That's something that we can you know, refer those resources to you. And those um, funding resources or business connection or uh, those uh, startup re uh, related resources, we can do the referral for you. And that's something uh, we want to bring startup uh, the value of our total solution to this um, team. So that's uh, the most uh, common question I will be asked, like whether this service is uh, charged or something. Uh, so, so far not yet, because this is a government initiative. Uh, government will now um, reserve the budget. So please come to us and uh, try to leverage these resources. But if you come to the, talk to a supplier, the commercial terms will be deal between you and suppliers. That's something I want to highlight. Okay, there's uh, some snapshots. Um, currently, we have more than 40% of uh, international cases coming to Taiwan to, to work with suppliers. And each year, we have more than 100 projects. And um, so far, accumulatively, um, it's, uh, there's uh, 60 uh, projects has been matched successfully. And I'll run quickly about the, the case. This is uh, the technology to control digital world. This actually work with uh, mobile VR. The, the teams work on this uh, apparel with the sensors. So the real, um, you, you can feel the real digital world. That's the, the alumni from the highway one. And there's a uh, panoramic video um, founded in Kickstarters. And there's a um, French team doing a relaxation headset. Uh, that's the, the portable heart disease monitoring. Uh, we help them to uh, find the supplier for the chip. And there's um, a dart machine to uh, transfer the traditional dart machine to adding the digital scoring system inside that. And that's the most uh, important case I want to share with you. Um, that's the space case, uh, the, the most uh, advanced muscle case. It got um, biolock, uh, self-scale, uh, global tracking of your uh, luggage and uh, power bank and BT for speakers and anything function and app and the cloud. And it's got, uh, in um, Kickstarter, it got 920,000 pledged. And uh, the Taiwan supplier helped them to do the system integration all the way from the uh, concept, marketing concept, to the final uh, product. So I want to share with you about a little bit about this um, story. Uh, that's, um, as I mentioned in the previous slide, it's got very su successful in the Kickstarters. And that's also our first overseas case in Triple when we just started. And the founders is doing the traditional suitcase, but they want to add like IoT or digital uh, function into their um, uh, suitcase. And but when they come, uh, when our PN find this uh, project, approach them, they have only marketing features and they have nothing else. So they are actually looking for a supplier to do the actually actual work. So um, they come to us, they, they uh, uh, buy a ticket and visit Taiwan. We, our PN, help them to manage uh, the meetings and talk to different parties. And then he thinks like, uh, okay, um, I, I want to go to Shenzhen to explore the opportunities and whether uh, the, to do the comparisons. And then 
he he spent、uh, another week in Shenzhen and talked to different suppliers. And in Tripoli, we think, oh, probably he will stay in Shenzhen and will come back to Taiwan. And、uh, If the censorship and they call us and contact us, say, "Okay, can I talk to the the supplier to you?" Because I realize that I feel more like IP protected in in Taiwan more than Shenzhen. So eventually, he stay in Shenzhen and、um, talk to. I、uh, have、uh, decided to、uh, work with our, our our supplier, who is also the speaker today. So、um, as I mentioned, they study with only marketing features and nothing else. They only have like a PPT slide. I, like I want, I want this kind of、uh, features. And、um, we, the Slingx、uh, from Davy,、um, Davy from Slingx, help them、uh, to try to、uh, lock down the technical spec all the way until this、uh, luggage, smart suitcase, has been shipped、uh, recently, right? So we'll come to check out this uh, uh, product after the course today. <laughs> so、um, I want to introduce the most important part for today,、uh, which is Davy.、Um, he will be talking about the eight aspects of thinking in designing a product. And、uh, let me highlight. Probably the, the information will be more like、uh, you know technical and hard. For today, so feel free if you have any question or you want to、um, share, have some of the the real cases, then we can stop Davy and probably he can share his experience about the the, the startup project. All right, so let's、uh, give、uh, Davy a warm welcome. Okay, thank you. All right.、Uh, good afternoon,、uh, everybody. Thanks for your sharing your time to join this session. And uh, uh, I just、uh, for afraid that maybe I will forget something, so I prepare my some. Okay, right, right here. Yeah. Okay.、Uh, on the uh, just uh, thanks for the Alan's uh, uh, introducing uh, about the smart showcase. Yeah, the, the space case one. And and I remember on the. Uh, September uh, 2015,、uh, one day. Okay, the triple has、uh, just、uh, bring my customer to my office, and my customer just show me the one video on the YouTube, and、uh, he made the one you、uh, that he's、uh, put on the Kickstarter. Okay, and、uh, he told me that he has、uh, raised、uh, more than two million US dollar at the Kickstarter and the India Go Go just for this case, and、uh, he wants me to do it out. So that okay, we accept this this job and uh, uh, build it, and then from concept and uh, uh, test and、uh, to manufacture, and finally、uh, we just、uh, we we handle shipping、uh, more than one one thousand unit、uh, this year, and、uh, we'll have the、uh, more PO、uh, next. Yeah, okay, and uh, uh, I'm David Pan. Okay. Uh, I'm just uh, on, uh, on behalf of the CNX and the、uh, um, uh, CNX. It is also a startup that、uh, focus on helping the、uh, startup and the entrepreneurs、uh, in designing a product, and the,、uh, from concept uh, to uh, design and the test, and the even for manufacture. Yeah, and the, today.、Uh, In the past,、uh, in my personal career, okay, I have the、uh, more than 25, e-、uh, more than 25 years in this、e- uh, electrical field, and the more than、uh, 15 years、uh, stay at the EMS company. And uh, uh, in the past, uh, okay, uh, I also uh, had uh, lead uh, uh, 16 uh, R&D people, uh, as, and uh, also uh, act as uh, uh, Sony and uh, Intel、uh, strategy product PM. Okay, so that uh, uh, and、uh, I also handle service at the Lion and the JPL circuit. So uh, according to past experience and uh, 
uh, I, I had joined some uh, lecture and some activity within these two years. So uh, I find that uh, most of the uh, lecture uh, has addressed. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Most of the uh, lecture just address on telling a startup or entrepreneurs about. Uh, wait a moment. About how uh, about just uh, your your design process, but uh, they uh, rare to tell you uh, how to do the design. So uh, I always thinking uh, something that um, how to help the those startups when they uh, design uh, uh, to have the good design and the good quality in the design process. But the most important is not the design process, but it is a some aspect that you must take in consideration uh, more uh, in, uh, in, in the West. Yeah. Okay, today's uh, uh, a session, uh, I will based on two assumptions. Okay. Uh, one assumption is uh, I just uh, regard that all of you have, the, uh, have approved, uh, have do uh, your homework and approve your concept, and even you have a good uh, POC product on hand already. And the second assumption is uh, we will use the outside in design process. Uh, for the design process, basically we will have the two kinds of the design process. One is outside in and the other is inside out. And what's the difference? Uh, outside in, that means, okay, uh, we will have the uh, ID first. And then uh, because ID will, uh, for most of the uh, buyer, the ID will impact uh, whether they will buy it or not. So the ID uh, will take some uh, important roles in uh, your design process, in your design. So uh, this is uh, from ID, and then we have the mechanical, and I have the PCB board dimension. That is a uh, wind design from ID and go to the double E, yeah. But inside all, oh, that is another way, just uh, on the contrary. contrary. That is that uh, we have the uh, PCP board first. We test it and the do some POC concept. And then we based on this and to generate our, our looking. And the most of the makers uh, take this because uh, they, uh, oh, they like to use for example, uh, the uh, Raspberry Pi or Arduino to uh, to to test their their, their uh, concept, and then based on this those module, they will uh, try to make a one uh, ID and just fit for the this board. But today, uh, for for normal design process, we will use outside design process. Okay, and uh, this. Uh, Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. I believe uh, most of you have seen uh, this process already, right? Sorry. Already, uh, this is a PLM process. And I think most of you is a very, uh, some of you should be uh, very f uh, familiar with this process. Because uh, everybody uh, in such a, a session uh, they will tell you, uh, yes, when you design uh, a product, you must obey this process. But okay, this is only a process. They didn't tell you how to do that, right? You can follow, okay, EVT, POC, EVT, DVT, PVT. Yeah, it's just a lump, but it means nothing. It just means uh, some action. But how to do this action? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, this is okay. Some action that we have to take uh, from POC to EVT, and uh, this is some action that we go to uh, DVT and the PVT. But uh, but uh, right here, I just uh, want to point out that the most important uh, right here, okay, is uh, I want to uh, ask uh, one question to all of you. What's your uh, main purpose when you design a product? Can someone tell me? Uh, yeah, okay, maybe this one. And the hand up to you. Can, can you tell me what's your purpose when you design a product? Running. Running? Uh, good. Yeah. yeah, 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 very close. Yeah, very close. Uh, I think, okay, the most, uh, my answer is just sell this 
product to market, right? To get money, right? Yeah, okay. But how? What word? You want to save the world, okay? Uh, but uh, you don't have the uh, you don't print the S. No, no, no. You don't print S on, on right here, okay? Superwoman, now, okay? Yeah. So uh, what I want to emphasize is uh, okay from this chart, okay? There is uh, some uh, items that were uh, impacts on uh, the less that the means of the selling to the market. I think okay. We think this, okay, what do you think, uh, which item that you think uh, that will impact or have uh, some uh, relation uh, for you to selling your product to the, to the market? Even you have the very, design is very good. Which item? Can someone tell me? No? I think the most, item, most important item is certification. Yeah, because uh, if you don't pass the certification, you cannot sell on the market for US. Uh, if you don't get the certification, get the FCC ID, it is impossible for you to import and even to sell on the market. If you don't pass the Taiwan the PSMI or NCC, you don't get the license, you are unable to sell on the market. So even you do your design very well, okay? then it is impossible for you to sell on the market to get the money, right? And besides certification, what else that I think, uh, that you think? Okay, for me, okay, I will tell you it is a reliability. Because why? Uh, later I will tell you one, one story, okay? Because why? Because uh, if you don't get your product uh, past the uh, reliability, have the good quality, uh, st stable quality, then you will have the you, you will take a very huge risk, uh, just of uh, facing some penalty from some company, or from from your customer, or maybe you were facing uh, uh, some RMA issue after you ship after your shipping. So these two uh, items, I think it is the most is the most important uh, for your. The, 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 the whole design cycle. So that I want to trace back from these two items, or even three items, from some items from the manufacturer side and the, on the market, and looking back how you design your product. And what's the main major issue for your, uh, uh, when you're designing a product? Okay. Uh, can someone guess what the, this uh, photo means? This is a story, a true story that happened at first time. Ah, uh, similar, okay. Uh, at the 2008, first time has been penalty by the law about uh, 240 million. Uh, that is because only one capacitor. The issue is only one capacitor. At that year, okay, uh, they shipped the motherboard around two million pieces to Lenovo. But uh, after half a year, okay, Lenovo just uh, tell them you have an IMA issue. They want to back return all of the least two million and uh, uh, ask for some penalty to fast count. Just because uh, one capacity one capacitor, that to, uh, he lost his uh, function uh, when it is uh, after a long time high value working. He just lost his, uh, lost his uh, the function so that the power of this uh, the motherboard uh, is very unstable. Yeah. So that uh, first come just uh, to be fine, okay, 240 million at that year. And the, uh, and the almost uh, one uh, vice, uh, senior vice uh, uh, manager, okay, vice, vice general manager, almost quit just for this issue. And the, um, this means, okay, what, uh, because uh, this is uh, a concern with, okay, before we shipping, and the, uh, we will do some 
uh, reliability test, especially when we we'll do some thermal test and the um, component life test. But at least for this issue, for, for this event, uh, at that time, uh, first come, uh, uh, did not test uh, this component very well. And uh, uh, so that he got this issue after half a year. OK, let's go uh, to this uh, main topic. Oh, sorry. OK, so then this is what I want to talk, uh, discuss with you uh, from the S aspect in the design process, OK, in the, when you're designing a, a product. I think uh, this uh, basically, OK, each item of the uh, uh, this uh, aspect can be separated just as a major topic to discuss with you for, I think maybe uh, for one day that, that is okay. So that today I just want to have uh, a general scope to all of you of uh, what uh, we think uh, in design a product. What is the most uh, and the how, how to, tra how to uh, uh, think about it, okay? Yeah, for, uh, wait. From here, okay. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. So from here, okay. These three items, uh, just up, uh, from the uh, in, from from the view of the manufacturer, and then we want to uh, talk about this from to see uh, some uh, design. Uh, concept and at some point and then trace back to this how we to design a product. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is uh, uh, what uh, I think the most, a uh, 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 very important uh, step uh, when you design a product. Uh, okay, it is a system block diagram. Uh, in the first, uh, okay, when you design a product, you must uh, generate a system, uh, a system uh, block diagram. Why? Uh, because, uh, wait a moment, I forget. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, let me see. Yeah, okay. Because, uh, when you, well, okay, when you see this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, product grid, what can you read from, from this diagram? Uh, I think, okay, you can read at least uh, some items listed right here. You can uh, list uh, the, the function of each block, right? So that you can see right, uh, you can see right here. There is uh, the, the function of each block, and uh, uh, you can also see the interface, how those blocks connect, and how those uh, blocks uh, works with each, each other. And uh, you can see some uh, from here. You, you can also see some how the power goes. So you can see the, 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 the voltage. Because we, uh, we will use some different color to show some uh, different uh, working uh, voltage on this uh, system block. So it was very clear for you to talk with uh, your guys and uh, uh, your engineering guys. And uh, even you can use this uh, block diagram to talk, to discuss with uh, your uh, mechanical guys. Because uh, when you uh, design a system, the mechanical guys need to know, uh, okay, where to put the, those uh, I.O. Uh, interface. Right, so we can use this and, and talk with them and the how to press them and if, to generate a, a, a general scope of a device. And also, okay, you can uh, use the, uh, 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 this block diagram and to uh, list uh, your power budget. Uh, when we design a product, uh, the, the power budget is very important to us because uh, we need to provide a sufficient power to a whole system. Otherwise, uh, you have to do some, uh, uh, we call it the engineering change. Uh, when, you, uh, when, when you find out the, 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 the product is not enough for your system. Especially, okay, uh, this case uh, is more, especially more easy to find and some the uh, communication system, especially for the uh, 
for example, 3G system. Because of for the 3G system, the power consumption is just a, depending uh, how clear the signal it is. Yeah. So uh, if the clear, if the signal is not so clear, it will use more power for uh, communication with the uh, base station. So at that time, it will consume more power. But if your power budget is not enough, uh, you will find okay, the system maybe it will be shut down or even you uh, cannot link. And the, uh, the other is uh, when you uh, want to estimate your general, uh, have the uh, general uh, understanding about your cost. I think this product also can help you some. Because uh, uh, for my habit, okay, I will also list some component cost on this product, on, uh, on this product diagram. So that you can calculate when, when someone want to uh, ask you how much is uh, uh, the cost of your system. You can have the general in calculation. Yeah. This is a one system diagram. So that uh, uh, you can see this uh, is a function. There all these the function and, and, and the chip then and the function and the also uh, we have the list some the uh, power consumption right here. And we translate into this this table. So you can have very clear uh, the, the, to know how uh, your, your power budget. Yeah, and the, even you can uh, to check, uh, for, for example, right here, they have the, some uh, interface. So you can use this to calculate uh, whether your system can support so much interface. Yeah. This is another power budget yeah, format. This is more, more clear. And uh, you use this, you even can calculate uh, your the uh, efficiency of your power, power system, yeah. Because the power system, the efficiency will uh, will dominate uh, your the uh, some the uh, the product the, the thermal performance. And uh, for thermal, we will talk about it later. Okay, right here, yeah. This is uh, the the second chapter uh, usage envi uh, environment. Uh, okay, right here. Uh, basically, this is uh, we are talking about is reliability. Because a product, uh, the the environment of the per the product you uh, that you use, okay, the environment will dom uh, will de uh, design uh, what kind of the a uh, test that you need when you designing uh, a a product. For example, okay. Uh, just imagine that uh, you live at the, uh, somewhere near the seashore, okay, for example, maybe Dubai, okay, you live there and uh, maybe you're running there, okay, so, I, uh, and I have a mobile phone, just uh, talking uh, or, 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 or some other device, so I just want to know, okay, just want to ask you, what kind of the test you think the, uh, those devices should, should, should be tested? What kind of the, the, the test? And if yeah, as a mobile, it is a very hard and a very, yeah, uh, and, and across to the sea. Yeah, so maybe uh, uh, you need to have some test about the temperature and the humidity, right? Yeah, and the even because it's just near the seashore, so even you will need to do some, we call it a so a spread test. Just uh, to test uh, whether the, the, the device will be uh, can endure such an environment with uh, in, in, in a such a salty environment, yeah. And uh, this is uh, uh, environment has uh, this uh, copy. Uh, this spec is comes from the uh, S company, Japan S company. And uh, uh, wait a moment. Most of us, uh, when we uh, do such an environment pet, environment pet, environment test, uh, you can see that uh, uh, for okay. The, uh, I have to say that uh, for environment tests, uh, we have the uh, lots of kind of spec. This is the most uh, uh, general uh, and the most uh, soft spec for, for temperature test. If you, uh, so you can see, okay, they'll have the two temperature. One is uh, 65 degree and the other is 40 degree. And then we, have, uh, we will have to uh, run it for, uh, uh, let me see, how, how many times? Uh, 126 circles. Yeah to see it can endure uh, such an uh, environment, uh, such a test. And after this, it, 
the the DOT the must be uh, should should uh, should be able to work. But in another kind of the test, the we call is thermal shock. The thermal shock is a more uh, more severe than uh, than this test. Uh, for example, uh, in my past, okay, uh, Sony also also for Sony. Sony has a one one thermal shock test. The uh, the spec is a uh, it range the, the temperature between the uh, minus 20 degree to uh, 125 degree. And the, uh, the, uh, it will uh, uh, for, go up from uh, minus 20 to 125 degree within one minute. And then stay at the 125 for 19, uh, 19 minutes. And then goes down to minus 20 uh, Within one minute and a step at the 20, uh, 90 minutes, and then this uh, this this cycle uh, will repeat uh, 1,000 times because it's just a simulate. Okay, the aging, uh, the aging test of uh, just simulate uh, for 10 years aging. Yeah, if it, if so, if it can pass uh, this test. Uh, okay, that means uh, this product will be much more perfect. And, and, and also that's why Sony uh, didn't earn a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, Sony's product never, never fails. So it is very hard for you to replace it, to buy a new one. Okay, right here. Okay. Uh, I also want to uh, have some show, uh, introduction about uh, the uh, some uh, product uh, category uh, uh, depending, uh, depends on the uh, temperature. One is the commercial grade, and the other is the uh, industry uh, grade, and the uh, car grade, and the military grade. Yeah, this is the four kinds of product category. Yeah. And the next, this is the one we call a uh, source ready test. Yeah, this is uh, just as uh, it is a, 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 a serial a corrosion that uh, produce a, a corrosion attack to coating sim samples. To see whether the, the surface will be uh, impact or, or, or corrupt by by soft, yeah. And the the next uh, the next is uh, waterproof and dust proof. The, uh, I think this spec is uh, uh, some of you uh, uh, will be uh, very uh, familiar with this because uh, most of the mobile phone right now just uh, emphasize uh, my mobile phone is. Uh, uh, waterproof, or even it can emerge in, or, or, or use uh, underwater. So they must uh, pass uh, this test. And uh, for this um, test, uh, we call it the uh, IP rating. So, uh, for example, okay, for some the uh, Sony mobile phone, uh, it is uh, for the IP67. IP67, that is, uh, okay, uh, the, for the first number, it is uh, for the uh, uh, Dust proof, and then the second number it is for the waterproof. Yeah, IP six or uh, seven. That means okay, it, it won't be a uh, uh, won't a uh, dust uh, can get in and uh, can put uh, underwater uh, uh, thirty uh, centimeter just at least uh, for one hour. So we have to do a lot of such a test. Yeah. So a uh, test back uh, when you design a come. Uh, a product. Your system architecture should know okay what kind of environment this product should be sell and then decide the environment and design what kind of the reliability and what kind of the test that this product should take. Okay, after you get all of those information and then we can pass to the to the designer and then know how to design your product. Otherwise uh, if you don't, if you don't have uh, such information, uh, you will redesign your product many, many times, and you will waste your time, waste your money, and uh, even you will lose your com uh, your your customer. Yeah, uh, this is another test for drop tester and the vibration tester. Okay, sometimes a drop test, uh, I think a lot of uh, should know that uh, because we just want to test uh, whether the, the mechanical design is strong enough 
uh, or not. Okay, so we will have this test. Um, for some components that we will uh, have the auto boiling drop uh, from maybe uh, 150 centimeter, or uh, just 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 depends uh, on a uh, uh, different uh, requirement. But uh, in another way, we also will have the some uh, yeah, and for uh, okay, for vibration test. Okay, uh, it uh, it has uh, two kinds of purpose. One is uh, to test uh, your package is, is okay for shipping or something else. And the other, uh, sometimes we will use that to test whether our component uh, is soldering well or not, especially for some deep components. Yeah. Okay, this is a whole, and, uh, uh, we call it a whole test. Uh, just uh, uh, this, this, this test is uh, something different uh, from the previous because the, the, the previous test uh, they all do uh, roll out, uh, they all uh, done uh, uh, se separately, but this is a common test, a uh, 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 combination test. Uh, the, the purpose of a whole test is just uh, want to speed the your test time. Just for example, if uh, for the cycle uh, for temperatures. Uh, uh, a uh, cycle in the test. It, sometimes it will take you almost one month. But uh, when we design a product, uh, as you know, okay, uh, the timing is more and more sh shorter than before. So we, we are unable to endure, okay, to have a test that spent on one month. We hope we can do it uh, within just a few days. And you, yeah, even at least, uh, at most, uh, only one week. So we have this whole test to speed up your test. And it, combi it combines uh, vibration and the uh, high low temperature and uh, even some uh, uh, on off cycling together so that you can do a lot of tests at the one time. Yeah, okay. This is another topic, okay, another chapter about, uh, that we talk about certification. Uh, I think the certification is uh, terminology is a very to everybody is a uh, abstract abstract uh, uh, terminology, right? Because I I think uh, most of you must heard about FCC, UL, CE, and uh, even uh, some uh, for example uh, some Wi-Fi test or something else. But uh, anybody know exactly know? what FCC does, or what UL does, what FCC tests, or even what, what, what C stand, stands for. Yeah, I think a very real people can uh, hear to say, to, to say that. Even some engineer, they only, know the, only have the some concept, but they, they don't have the very, very, very clear picture about it. So today I, I just want to have a, a, a general scope to you about this uh, certification. Yeah. Yeah, for FCC, FCC it is, uh, and, uh, and, and you, you know, it is uh, for the USA spec. For FCC it is uh, 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 about the, uh, some the EMI and EMC uh, test. Uh, this is, uh, I think this this one can have the more clear illustrate about the difference. Okay, see, it is uh, Europe, uh, the, the test standard. And uh, okay, for C, okay, it, it can it, uh, include the EMC and the safety, these two parts. But for USA, okay, uh, let uh, have the different uh, uh, the, uh, the entity to in charge of the, these two parts. And for FCC, it just in in charge of the test of the EMC, and the for UL, it's just in charge of the safety. And the, this is a EMI. Uh, then uh, we call uh, EMI, uh, basically, okay, it is a, a radio frequency energy that, uh, that will uh, interface uh, the other uh, device. Uh, for example, any any electrical device that uh, if they have the, some frequency operating in, in their system, 
it must uh, generate some radiation, a uh, frequency ra radiation. So those uh, ra uh, ra uh, frequencies uh, will impact on the other device. So that uh, the EMI is uh, FCT and uh, EMI is uh, just uh, try to uh, keep uh, uh, under their spec uh, to not to uh, to prevent you to uh, interface the other device. So on this chair, uh, you can see there uh, has uh, two two lines. The red lines is the uh, 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 up limit, and the, uh, the the green line is uh, uh, the tolerance. Yeah. So uh, once uh, your the uh, radio frequency is uh, uh, above the uh, is over the the red line, okay, this device will be fail, and that you have to minim uh, try to minimize the the uh, uh, the, the intensity of this uh, radio, uh, uh, this, this frequency to pass the state, to pass the, uh, the test. Yeah, this is uh, some EMI, EMC. Yeah, this is a uh, uh, we call it a uh, uh, three meter chamber and the ten meter chamber. And uh, here is uh, the uh, a standard for a uh, different uh, country. For the EMI and ENC, yeah. And uh, for Taiwan, uh, this is uh, this, this is Taiwan PSMI, and uh, this is uh, for US and the uh, after part FCC part of uh, 50B and the uh, 50C, it has a uh, two kind of different uh, the, the spec. And uh, uh, this is uh, talking about safety. Uh, a basic okay. This uh, they have the six a uh, scope for safety. Yeah, uh, the first scope is uh, just uh, for the uh, electrical shock uh, damage. Uh, what is uh, is uh, the electrical shock damage? Uh, I, 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 uh, I'm not sure uh, whether you have the such experience that uh, in the winter, uh, when you open the door, uh, maybe sometimes you will feel uh, your finger is very very pain. Yeah, it's very, very painful. It, it, that means that you, uh, it is shocked. You are shocked by the static, uh, uh, static uh, electrical, yeah. So uh, this is uh, the, the, the electrical shock uh, means, okay, uh, it will uh, test and uh, uh, ensure that your device is, uh, can, um, can endure some uh, shock from the nature or some from the, uh, some, some power, so that you, uh, you, you, uh, the, the device will, will not be uh, damaged. And this is also for the uh, energy, uh, the other is for the energy damage. Uh, how can I know? Okay, this one uh, is, um, how should I say this? Uh, have anyone seen the spark? Just two terminal and uh, with high voltage and uh, very close, and then it will generate spark. The spark will generate a high uh, energy, and uh, easy to uh, have some fire to, to cause some fire. Especially when we uh, design some PCB board, we have some rules to uh, to prevent uh, you to, uh, generate such a, a spark or or, or 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 such a damage, and. Uh, and the other is, uh, okay, the third is fire, yeah. So the fire uh, is, uh, once uh, we have the, uh, some path, path value or, or something else that maybe will cause fire, so we will have the such a test to ensure this device uh, won't cause any fire and uh, so that, uh, for some, especially for some material. So for some material, we will have the, uh, for UL, uh, it has uh, some, Request about your material, uh, what kind of the material that that uh, you must obey? For example, uh, for the PCB ball, we have the uh, 94V uh, V0 such a material that uh, must be used just for uh, prevent uh, against the fire. Yeah, and also uh, it has uh, some scope for the mechanical and the thermal damage. And uh, this is uh, some of the, uh, oh, sorry.
Yeah, this is the uh, safety, the, the uh, suspect of the test standard for safety uh, all over the world for different countries. Uh, we also have to notice uh, is uh, uh, um, one is uh, for the IF test. The IF test uh, means uh, uh, right here we have the uh, a lot of the uh, different uh, communication systems. For example, uh, you have the uh, for Wi-Fi, right, and uh, for Bluetooth, and uh, for 3G. And uh, even for, uh, for example, uh, uh, DB. Okay, this all belongs to different communication spec. For different communication spec, it has a uh, different uh, the test, uh, the IF test spec in, in, in lab. So that uh, this test is, uh, we will uh, test a, a, a based on uh, your, your, your product spec. And then the test uh, category will Measure, uh, 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 measure at the, uh, some of frequency deviation and the power and the timing. And uh, what is the uh, frequency deviation? That is uh, when, uh, uh, how do I say? For example, uh, one frequency, it has a sound central, uh, a central frequency. And uh, if you, uh, it is not at the right, uh, uh, right, right frequency, okay? It just go right or go, okay? It has some tolerance. If you uh, over this tolerance, uh, it is fail. Yeah, and uh, even okay for the power, we have the some uh, power that uh, for example for for Bluetooth, it is a zero dB. It is a very very weak the 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 power transmi uh, the transmission power. But if you uh, are over the the limit, maybe you will impact the other device. So they have uh, some limitation on that. And this is uh, all must be this in the designer spec, so that the designer know how to de define, design your, your system. Yeah, this is some RF test, yeah. And then this is a SAR test. Uh, the SAR is uh, for, to test uh, the, the radio that is absorbed by your human body. Especially just for some, uh, it is m must need for the communication system. So right here you can see, uh, here is some, the, the test, uh, test location for some device, for mobile phone. Some uh, for FCC, it, it uh, just define it must test for the, the, the head and the body. The amount the, uh, for head to absorb and, and the body absorb. So it has uh, some device. This is a uh, earphone put on here and to test uh, how this uh, uh, to absorb. Yeah. Okay. Next uh, is another important topic for you design your product, and that is uh, we will also take this uh, into our consideration in advance. Uh, this is about uh, manufacture. When you design a system, okay, you must know how to manufacture your product. If uh, if you cannot uh, put this into your uh, consideration as as early as possible. Uh, maybe uh, when you uh, finish, after you test uh, your boss, uh, all the function of your boss well, you will find one thing that it is very hard to produce at a production line. And then you must uh, do some change so that uh, for the production line it can save time and save the process and uh, uh, smooth the, 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 yeah, for them to produce. But, yeah, so this uh, is very uh, importance of for you to take into your consideration. For example, uh, and the, the purpose of this is uh, including for two two items. One is to guarantee your product quality, and the other is uh, just uh, less your manufacturing cost. And uh, for these uh, items, okay, uh, basically we will have the uh, including three items. 
One is an SOP. Uh, we call it a manufacturer test uh, test plan. And the other is the uh, we call it uh, is uh, the test point and the test tooling design. And the later we we will have the, some uh, example and show to you. And the the third item is a, a manufacturer test program. And uh, for the SOP, uh, hello, can someone uh, just show this a PDF file? No, this is not it. How will they show? Let's see. This is not it. Yes. 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 This is a, a manufacturer SOP, and uh, right here, okay. And the most important thing is this, uh, this one. On this chapter, okay, you can see uh, we will design, we will have some design about the test station. We call it the the, the test station, and uh, uh, for this, this is a, a, a test station. This is a test station, and uh, this is a test station. This is also a test station. Each, this, each test, test, test station has a different test item and, uh, and a different fun functions. And uh, so that uh, you must take this uh, into your consideration when you uh, design your product. How to test in manufacture. Yeah. And uh, also uh, with this SOP, you can also to calculate uh, how to arrange your uh, production line, your, your, your test station. For example, uh, if the, the test station one it needs uh, around uh, 60 seconds to complete the the, 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 the test function of the test, uh, test station one, and for test station two it needs 30 seconds, that means okay you need to double the test station one to meet the throughput of test station two. Otherwise, the test station two will be the bottleneck for your mass production, and the every and the all the uh, employee on the production line of uh, of test station one will be wet for the test station two. Your test station two will be wet for the test station one. It's just a waste of time, waste of your money. Yeah. So this must be taken into consideration. Okay. Next, okay. This is uh, uh, some uh, test point and test tooling. When you uh, just uh, design your PCB ball, uh, just as mentioned, once you have the tag in uh, what kind of the function that you need to test, you will add some the test point on your test uh, at your PCB ball in advance. And then this PCB ball, uh, we will have another test tooling. Oh, sorry. We will have another uh, test tooling, this one. Okay, so we can put uh, this ball on this tooling, and then we have the test pin uh, that account with this to test point, so that you can test the, the PCB ball very quickly. Just save your time. Yeah. And the, uh, the third is, um, uh, we call it our uh, manufacturer test program. Uh, manuf manufacturer test program is uh, quite different to, uh, to uh, the, the program that we call it the, 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 the shipping image call. Uh, basically, okay, uh, let me say in this way, okay. Uh, the manufacturer test program, it is, uh, it is a special design, just of a special target and uh, your uh, test procedure. Yeah, for uh, just for the uh, the example uh, that I just show on SOP, 
Yeah, for example, for, uh, for, for example, if test one that needs to test, uh, for example, okay, the power or something else, or, or even Bluetooth, or even uh, the other function. So the program only will all focus on those functions, and uh, it will automatically test those uh, function directly. And, uh, uh, and uh, uh, it will tell you pass or fail very quickly. Yeah, so it can save your time. And uh, uh, maybe you will ask uh, one thing, and uh, once uh, my system just uh, loading uh, the such a manufacturer test program, yeah, because uh, we will load this program into our system. But how about your, after your test, uh, how about the, the real the image program? Where it comes? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we will have the two ways to, uh, for this uh, manufacturer, uh, for this issue. One is, okay, uh, we will generate uh, one program that uh, uh, after test, uh, after test, uh, it will auto erase the uh, uh, original uh, manufacturer test program and uh, generate the image code you, you plan to shipping. And then the other is uh, we will use another tool to erase the manufacturer test code and the uh, reprogramming again. It just depends on your design and uh, uh, your cost because uh, the first one it needs a larger uh, uh, flash and so the your cost, uh, your phone cost will be higher. And then the, the, the second two, it, it, just, uh, it just depends on uh, the, your, uh, your, your phone cost and the, the, the label cost. Yeah. Okay. This is another chapter uh, about, okay, this is take into the design in real. Okay, we, we will kind of, uh, talk, talk about the design uh, for the manufacturer design. Uh, yeah, because the timing is, uh, so, so I will speak uh, very quickly about this, okay. Uh, for the mechanical design, uh, we will have the, some, uh, I think this, uh, we will take this five item into our consideration, yeah, at first, okay. One is uh, uh, for the 3D interference checking, and then the other is a thermal consideration, and then the third, we will do make some more gap. And also, we will take into the uh, antenna placement into, uh, if, if your system needs the, uh, needs the wireless, we will also take this into our consideration when we are making a, a design of a mechanical, uh, the design of housing, okay? And also, also we will take uh, into waterproof if, if, if the system needs, all right? And for the 3D interference checking, okay, this is one of our uh, product, uh, uh, it is uh, just a, uh, uh, you know, how do you translate it? Incense. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, incense. Yeah, this is an uh, electrical incense, okay. Uh, you can see uh, this one uh, is a very, very, uh, uh, how, uh, how should I say it? The mechanical is very, very hard to design. So right here you can see the max, uh, uh, Outside a uh, diameter is uh, only a uh, 16 mm, millimeter, and the max uh, the, the inner uh, diameter is only 14. It is a very very small one, but we need uh, so that you can see right here. For this one, uh, we need to press some uh, battery. We need to press some LED, and uh, we also need to uh, put the microphone and the and the even speaker inside this. So we need to do such a 3D interference checking. Otherwise, uh, uh, I'm not so sure whether uh, after I have the piece, I, I, I have the, my mechanical uh, housing coming out and uh, my PCB coming out, whether they have a conflict in real dimension. Yeah. So we will do some simulation in computer and, and so that you can check right here. Uh, sorry. This is the, the, the original size, and the, this is uh, we just made it transparent in some parts. And the we cut right here, so you can see every uh, more, more clear of the inside. And the, right here, you can see it is very, very complicated. Yeah. So this is a must, uh, a must step for you to design your, your product. 
And uh, the second that we need to take into consideration is the thermal. For, uh, for most of the IoT uh, device, I, I think the, for, the, the thermal is okay. But for some device that use uh, more uh, computing power, uh, the system will have some thermal issue. Yeah. But for thermal, okay, why we need to solve the thermal? Because the thermal will uh, res uh, will this to your whole system to be shut down or something else. Just because uh, once the thermal goes high, okay, that means that the, the, the whole system temperature will be rise up. Uh, once the, uh, the system uh, temperature rise up, that, that it means uh, the, the, to the, the system power efficiency will go, goes down. When system power efficiency, efficiency goes down, because of this system it needs so much power, so the only way is it must uh, absorb, uh, use more current. When it uses more current, that means another thing that it generates more power, more, yeah, more more thermal, and this this loop uh, work. Uh, this circle will at least to your the whole system just shut down, so that uh, we need to solve uh, such a thermal thermal issue. Uh, and also, the thermal will cause uh, your noise to uh, rise up. So that uh, if the temperature uh, goes up, uh, you, you will find one thing is that your signal will, going, will be bad. Yeah, the SN, uh, the SN ratio will go uh, goes high. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay, this is the way the wind... Uh, Take, uh, we, we, we try to stop the thermal. Oh, what is the conduction, uh, radiation, and the convention? And uh, okay, this is uh, this is an uh, example of uh, to stop the thermal. For such a thing, the heat sink, heat sink, it is a combination of the convention and the radiation and the uh, the uh, 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 conduction. Yeah, because. Uh, we call this uh, things. We call this things. These things. Whenever you increase the the area of the, your things, that means you will have more area to uh, a convention uh, to have the air convention to bring out your your thermal, and then you have the more area to have the radiation out of your your your, your thermal. Yeah, and then this is uh, some simulation uh, as the. Uh, uh, and computer, yeah. We also simulate in the air the airflow. Okay, and this is uh, the the issue of uh, the mockup. For mockup, uh, uh, it is also uh, another must step for, uh, when you design a a, a product. Uh, because the mockup, uh, it can uh, verify the interference of uh, your, uh, your solid body and uh, verify uh, your color plan and to. Uh, to have the real uh, visual uh, effect and the feeling, uh, with uh, it, it meets uh, your uh, your requirement, yeah. And also, it can verify if any issue occurs in the, uh, real operation, because uh, the mockup uh, what we need is a working mockup. Uh, so you can use that to test, uh, have the real test uh, whether it meets uh, the the real function, yeah. And also, here has some tips uh, if you. Wants to do mockup, okay? Uh, because mockup is it, it, it is not so uh, not, not so cheap, yeah. So sometimes uh, if you need uh, the mockup more than two more, more than two pieces, we will advise you to do some soft tooling, and then use the uh, soft tooling to do the mockup. It will save a lot of the money for you. And uh, the the other two items, okay? Uh, maybe uh, if anybody has the interest, uh, maybe you can ask me or. Yeah, after this meeting. Yeah, after this session. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, some layout stretch. Uh, for layout, uh, basically, we will emphasize, especially just for the power and ground. This will be, uh, for most of experience, the R&D. This is the most important issue, especially for the ground. Uh, because the ground, it will impact on your signal. Yeah, so if uh, a, a good ground, that means uh, your, your, your system will be uh, at least uh, uh, will success, uh, I think more than, more than 60%.
the other just an, uh, another design issue. But for if you have the good layout in ground, it will be more very easy for you to pass some certification. Also, yeah. Now because of time, so I will pass this uh, just the, the re directly. Okay. Yeah, and then this is uh, some self issue in. Uh, okay, we will also take this into consideration. This uh, just uh, means uh, the how the, the gap of the uh, uh, your layout trace. Yeah, and uh, yeah, to to meet uh, some some safety, especially for some high voltage and, and high current. Yeah. And uh, the other, uh, and uh, this one is uh, for some some items that uh, some criteria for the placement. Okay. Next, uh, we will talk about this uh, status transition diagram. Uh, I think uh, this uh, diagram, uh, I think it is not so popular to to uh, to some guys. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, for the firmware. And uh, I think uh, within this, uh, our today's uh, session, uh, this one is uh, as important as the broad diagram, as the system broad diagram. Because why? Because uh, this station, this status transition diagram, it just tells you how the firmware goes. Yeah, how the firmware it works, and also it, it also includes some of your uh, confidential algorithm inside. And uh, use this uh, status transition diagram. You can discuss with your APP team because right now uh, a lot of IoT team then needs the, 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 the need to match with, with APP. So with this, you can go with uh, talk with uh, the APP team, and also you can use this diagram to talk with your hardware guy because most of the transi uh, status transition diagram. It related to the the hardware. Just that, uh, just, uh, yeah. So when you design a product, uh, especially in the beginning of the firmware, this is a, a very important uh, diagram for firmware. At least uh, you must have uh, some, uh, some general scope to have this picture. Yeah, to have this diagram in advance. Yeah. And the next uh, uh, is about the APP and cloud, okay? And uh, this uh, talking about, uh, just uh, tell you, uh, for APP, uh, we have the uh, user interface and the uh, user experience. User experience just uh, just tell you how the system work uh, to go goes, and the, uh, the user interface just tell you how you to use this device. So it is very important for you to have the such a tool uh, items and, and 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 have some uh, list about, especially for your uh, your user experience, because a, a good user experience that can uh, help you to design a good app. Yeah, this is uh, this is uh, talking about uh, uh, the the device, the relationship uh, between device and the, and the server. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is about uh, some uh, different uh, mobile a a app, the, the the web station or something else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think the most important is this one, so that uh, from here you can see that from when you uh, design an app and cloud, yeah, you must know. Okay. Uh, we will uh, take a special notice uh, at, at, at this item. That is uh, this for the APP itself, uh, for the UI user X and the uh, cluster device. For example, you can transfer from something uh, 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 the APP from for your mobile to your iPad and even to your notebook, right? So this uh, uh, we, we have the consideration of the performance at a different device, yeah, different size device. And uh, this is uh, this one is talking about the APP, the backend development. And uh, uh, so that uh, you, you can see right here, it is a user authentication. Also, right, this is about the security, and uh, this is about the data service and uh, uh, reusable business logic. Uh, this is about the cloud, cloud compu computing. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think uh, 
Okay, this is uh, uh, today uh, because um, I think my, my, maybe the time is not enough for me, so I, I, I speed the uh, uh, last two uh, several items very, very quickly. But today I, I would also like to thank uh, some of my partners, yeah, especially uh, for, uh, 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 for Gary. Hey, Gary, where is Gary? No? Okay. And uh, I also want to uh, thank for uh, Simon because uh, Simon has uh, just uh, provided me some uh, material uh, and uh, just uh, review my, my slide about uh, certification and reliability. And uh, also, uh, I want to thank for Angus. Yeah, Angus is right here, okay? And uh, Angus is also our friend uh, for, for new startup. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, his company is an uh, expert at APP and the, and, and the cloud server. All right. Uh, thanks. Yeah. This is my session today. Thanks for everybody. So thank you, David. Uh, let's uh, start with Q&A. So before Q&A, who think, after the presentation, who think how is hard? <laughs> my personally, I personally think it's hard. So any questions uh, to David or um, I just met new friends. We have uh, visitors uh, doing user experience. We have uh, uh, members coming from Wistra, um now serving the uh, Howard staff. We have a partner doing the EMS uh, service. So if you uh, you have any question, I think we can raise the question to, to everyone and then they, they probably have answer to you. Anyone? Or any question from the slide? Technical or or in non-technical. <laughs> <laughs> so if uh, there's no questions, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, um. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm curious to, you know, um, get your thoughts a little bit on how you would um, guide uh, potential customers, you know, like you were talking about with, with the uh, suitcase here, you know, yeah. customers that are coming to you who don't have uh, hardware, you know, you know, this level of technical yeah. knowledge, you know, how do you sort of guide them through the path to ensure that you get a successful project? Uh, okay, uh, we will do some homework in, in advance, okay? Uh, because, uh, okay, let me say this way, when uh, the, the, the triple just informed me that uh, he has uh, such a showcase, to me, right? At that time, okay, I do the broad diagram first. Right. Yeah, so that I analyze uh, the, the custom, customer needs and build up the, 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 the broad diagram and uh, have also have the, some, uh, some simulation about the, uh, what he wants and the, what the, 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 uh, the, the users wants for this uh, smart showcase. Yeah, so, so, so that, uh, and also, especially, okay, uh, for the product diagram, just as mentioned, okay, we can calculate the cost, right? So, I also do some homework at the cost. Okay, so, so the, uh, I think this is the, 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 the key, uh, uh, key, um, the key to, to, to win this, this project. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So what I understand is the block diagram is the most, uh, the first uh, document uh, to communicate with staff if you, they only have yeah. the concept, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe, uh, I, I also want to uh, mention one thing is, uh, uh, because maybe uh, uh, I speak so fast uh, and, uh, and uh, so sorry, there is one story that uh, I forget to mention is, uh, just uh, based on your question, okay, uh, a lot of the, uh, from, from the past uh, one year, a lot of the customer uh, and some staff just come, come to find me and uh, want to do some product. And uh, uh, I think the most important is uh, they must uh, to evaluate their finance at first. And then, okay, and then and they have to evaluate what they want to do. So that uh, a lot of the... Uh, uh, startups uh, 
I, I had modified a lot of the, the concept of the startup. And even uh, I just reject some of the startup, just uh, try to save money for them. Yeah. Uh, for example, okay, uh, in the past year, okay, there is a one, one team that wants to do some uh, 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 gaming hush, uh, uh, IoT gaming hush. And then you want to use the uh, Qualcomm chip to do this chip. Uh, he has, uh, his, he told me he has uh, more than one, uh, 15,000, uh, 15, no, 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 50 million. He has uh, more than 15 million U US dollar cash on hand. But after uh, our survey, we find it need to pass a certification more and the, uh, the for, for 3G certification, and it will cost him 12 million. So I told him, don't do this, because you just waste your money. So that this means uh, you have to uh, uh, calculate your, your uh, just uh, be careful, uh, just uh, evaluate your, your, your finance at first. Yeah. And also, uh, some company uh, also asked me another question is, how to find out a good partner to design your product? Uh, can you tell me uh, how to find it? According based on your experience or? Uh, you mean in terms of uh, finding a good hardware uh, partner? Or, or, or maybe, it's, uh, yeah. Just uh, finding a, a design company for you. If you have, have a concept, you want to make it into a product, but you don't have such a capability to design it but you find uh, someone to design it for you and manufacture for you, how do you find a good, per uh, good partner to design it for you? Um, I, I, think, I think that's a massive challenge uh, for, for any uh, startup. You know? um, I, I, I think that um, it, it's, it's about finding somebody who ultimately will be able to, you know, as, as you were saying with the, uh, with the watch company, who, who can come to you and say, Hey, um, this may not be a good path. You know, some, so yeah. really, someone who can tell you the honest truth, really, you know, yeah. ra rather than just wanting to get your business, really. I can give you uh, one very, very uh, simple uh, and a very easy way to decide whether this is a good partner or not. You just ask him whether you can pass the certification for your for the board you design. If a good designer, a good uh, uh, design company, he, sh he must, he, yeah, he must be in charge of to pass the certification. Right, the exactly. So, so then, you know, coming back to the process earlier, then it really seems like you know the certification really is is the number one challenge, right? Because yeah. you know, if if you come, if you have a great product, but if it costs twelve million dollars to get certificate to get it certified, then is it worth investing that time and money, right? Yeah, right. So this is, I, I think this is the most uh, easy way for, uh, for those startups that maybe they are not so familiar with the hardware process, maybe they don't have the, such experience uh, in designing product, but they need to find a good partner. I think this is the most easy way. Just find a company that, and, and the final, uh, just sign in your country and he must in charge of the placing the certification for you. All right. So, so any question? Very important to find a partners, huh? With the Indiegogo campaign or the Kickstarter campaign for that suitcase, did they raise that two million dollars before they'd spoken to you and found out how complex it was going to be to build? Yeah. So, how did they set the price before they knew uh, what was involved? Oh, uh, Percy, I, I, I really don't know what the price is itself. Up to right now, even, even right now, right. yeah. But, uh, but the, finally, the, the price in the market, I think, would be uh, within seven to 500 Yeah. $500? US dollars. Uh, seven, 500 to 700 Yeah, within 500 to 700 Yeah, because it just has two... Too many yeah, too many features. The bigger one is 500 to 700. The small one is not. Yeah, this one, small one. This one. That this one is 500 to 700? Yeah. 
Let's carry. No, 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 no. 那个那个印加哥哥那个不准，那个已经过去了。Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So before they launch, I think before they come to Delhi, they, they don't have really you know uh, solid. Yeah, they only have the, the just uh, make some post video. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. That's why a lot of like uh, crowdfunding uh, project has been failed because they underestimate the the manufacturing cost. So they realize when they come to manufacturing, they realize oh the cost is uh, far way too high than what they they set up the market price. So that shows that if you involve those hardware partner in the early stage, it give you high feasibility on the you know uh, the the cost. <laughs> That's possible. Okay. All right. So, any more questions? Otherwise, we will I will hand the um, the ending to Stephanie. Anyone else have any questions? Last chance. All right. Or we okay. can ask questions during the networking section, right? Okay. Oh. Thank you so much again to David. Okay. Thank you. Um, thank you. I hope that you guys were all able to learn something from his uh, presentation. Um, our next Hardware Massive event is happening on Friday, April 7th, so stay tuned. I know you guys must be very hungry and thirsty after the presentation, so we have craft beer on the side for you guys, and we are preparing very, very delicious Mexican food, so come get it.